Okay, so take one of this commentary and hopefully the only take um, because I am very very tired and um, I can't be bothered with redoing it so I'm just gonna stick to this one try that I have at this commentary so what's going on guys Kraku here I have a round of domination on Cracked using the RPK with reflex sight uh, fruity olive camo I don't know why the hell I picked it um, what else I'm using of course ghost with sleight of hand pro and ninja and before I get into anything and I, I equipment I have claymores so and before I get into anything I did a dual commentary with my good friend element of energy um, his real name is Alex but his YouTube name is element of energy and that the link to that will be on the annotation on the screen bottom left hand corner and in the description so be sure to check out that dual commentary I did with Alex um, he's a good friend of mine uh, be sure to subscribe to him and um, yeah I talk about we basically talk about uh, and, uh, you know maps on black ops and black ops in general uh, black ops versus modern warfare 2 for a while and all that good stuff so be sure to check it out um, also uh, at the end of this video if you could not forget to leave a like or a dislike that would be pretty amazing um, and yeah it would give me basically uh, a view if you guys like watching my videos or not so um, that's that and also um, well actually no let's just get straight to the gameplay uh, the kill I'm rocking is uh, counter spy plane I think with blackbird and attack dogs um, the setup you might think is pretty weird um, in general, I think that the RPK, the LMGs are very, very underused, and if you're gonna ask me what's the best LMG, I would have to say the Stoner 63. Um, I really like that LMG. Um, I think, you know, because I unlocked all the LMGs, but I haven't used them, uh, like, prior to prestiging. And, uh, Stoner 63 was the one that, uh... I don't know, I, I enjoyed using the most, it, it feels really solid, it, uh, it has a high rate of fire, and it doesn't recoil as much. Um, the RPK, when you slap a r reflex sight on it, long range, forget about it, you have to burst. But uh, that's m like most of the guns, and in the beginning, haha, <laughs> you might seem, uh, it might seem like I'm a kill whore, but no, 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 at the end of this video, you'll see that uh, I will have more captures than my entire enemy, uh, my entire team, and I have more def and I have actually equal defense as my um, as my teammates. And um, of course, did I say enemy team? Well, what I meant to say is I have more captures than my entire team, and I have more um, and I have the same amount of defense as my team. So um, put together, so that's pretty weird. I mean, actually, it's not weird. It's pretty awesome, and I have a pretty damn nice KD to the this whole you know game I had on cracked um, I had to pick up Enfield uh, 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 with um, a noob tube and I actually defend be pretty nicely I captured and defended you know, I don't really defend I just noob tube the guy across the map but uh, yeah getting on to the LMGs I think they're very underused I get killed by an LMG uh, probably like twice a maybe everybody's rocking their assault rifles and submachine guns and that's okay I don't mind if you're having fun, you're enjoying the game, that's fine, but, you know, to keep a game into going into kind of like a stalemate, uh, into going like stale and boring and everything, I suggest you guys use some crazy setups. Um, I'm not saying that the RPK is a bad gun, but as you, uh, as you see from this gameplay, I had to play very cautiously and very, I don't know, defensively kind of-ish. I wouldn't call it extremely, extremely defensively, but I checked my corners, and I was aware of my surroundings, and that, I think, is a major part in Black Ops. I think in all Call of Duty games that you have to be aware of your surroundings, that there's somebody might be on the other side of, uh, of a fucking wall and getting ready to knife you and all that stuff, and I've been trying to get you guys some sniper gameplay, um, but I'm failing at the moment. The best I've got is like 23 and... 10 or something like that it's extremely hard to snipe in this game i mean it's it's not extremely hard to snipe it's extremely hard to get a beastie skd uh, with a sniper rifle and capture points which i don't think you know if you see a domination from me with a sniper rifle i don't think I'll, i'm gonna go that much for the objective you have to understand uh sniper rifles are that much more gimped and me playing without a party uh, most of the time me having to carry pretty much 60% of the time um, the team on my shoulders um, 
you know, it kind of adds insult to injury for me to have in Snipe and Capture Points. So, if I'm going to release a gameplay with Snipe, it's probably going to be in a party so that we won't lose. Um, the only time I will post a game, uh, that's from now on, I think, a game where we're going to lose a Team Deathmatch. Um, team Deathmatch is normal. I mean, if I get a score of 28 and 3 and we're still going to lose, um, there's, there's pretty much nothing I could have done you know to save my team from losing but in terms of domination if I get a lot of captures if I really did you know buttload of work and got a lot of kills and we still lost the domination um, that game I might post because it can have some awesome defending awesome captures and and basically um, all together uh, good gameplay and I want to ask you guys this question what is your favorite game mode on so far in Call of Duty Black Ops, um, I, I enjoy Domination, and you could leave a response in, in the comment section. Um, for me, it's Domination, I, I really enjoy it. Um, it's just sad that there's a lot of kill I mean, you know, by all means, if, if you have two flags secured and you just join the game or whatever, there's no reason for you to capture flags, go for the kills, you know, but uh, also be aware that you need to defend, it's not, hey, we have two flags captured, so I don't give a shit, no, you kind of have to pay attention because if you get outflanked, you're gonna lose all these flags, and that's the point of domination. And um, that's basically how I want, how I like to play it. Uh, I'm always aware where the enemy spawns. Well, not really in this game, but I kind of have an idea. So, like, uh, if we're pushing up and the enemy has C and we have A and B, for sure, one person is gonna spawn on A and they're gonna take A, and there we're gonna be spawning in random places. And I don't want that. So, uh, oh yeah, another funny thing. Whenever I call. I don't think there was a match. Whenever I call uh, Rolling Thunder um, on this map, on Cracked, I always get killed. No matter if I was inside a building, you know, 50,000 feet away, I always get killed. Um, that happened to me like four times uh, when I had Rolling Thunder equipped or got it in a care package or whatever. That's just on the side note. But Red Dot versus the Reflex Sight on LMGs. I think, I say go for Reflex Sight. Um, it just feels a lot more long range and the thing about LMGs is that are, they are very powerful but they have slow rate of fire so that might kind of screw you up close range so you better be careful and on a map like Cracked um, I, I, I would suggest running with uh, Flag Jacket I don't know why I was running with Ghost I guess um, I don't know I had to quit but if I would play this game again I would run probably with Flag Jacket because there's a lot of places people put claymores um, there's a lot of places, you know, that grenades can be thrown, um, noob tubes can be fired, and especially on B, in this map, it's just crazy. So, um, so yeah, Flag Jacket is a really awesome perk, I think you guys should give it a chance. Uh, not a lot of people seem using it, and some, and in my prior commentary, some people said that I got on people that, you know, use Ghost, um, that I hate on them. I don't, I can't hate on something I'm using, you know, I don't give two shits if you're using Ghost, um. You know, I don't. I really don't care. I enjoy that perk. I think that perk is fair. I don't mind it. Um, whatever, it's all good to me. You know, just use it. You, you, if somebody else is using it, you use it. If you don't want to use it, use counter spy plane, or I don't know, whatever, um, to to suit your needs. But uh, like I was saying, Cracked is a pretty straightforward map. Um, B is a bitch to defend, though. Um, well, actually, B is a bitch to capture. Because there's a lot of, like I said, frags and semtex and, and whatever thrown around, so... And the kill streaks I would suggest, if you're going for those high kill streaks, I suggest run with either the gunship or uh, the attack dogs. Chopper gunner, eh, not so much. It's not that open of a map. There's a lot of uh, things you have to keep in mind that there's a lot of turns, and that means claymores. So either run with hacker or flag jacket. That's what, I mean, if you run with ghost, run with hacker, if you don't mind, you know, hearing your own footsteps. Um, I run with Ninja some of the time. Um, my next gameplay would be with the PM63. And some people say that because I said it's my favorite gun. I just learned that the PS PM63 was Polish. I've been saying it since the beginning. That's my favorite gun, favorite SMG. I would uh, put it above AK-74U. So the fact that it's Polish, I just learned that like yesterday or two days ago. So that has nothing to do with it. I just think it's an awesome gun altogether. Um, high rate of fire. You don't need grip on it. Um, Extended mags work magic. The only thing is that you burn through am through ammunition, but that should get you to about a blackbird kill streak. But if you kill the first guy, you can pick up his weapon. Um, the game is coming to a close. Um, 
Final score is pretty nice. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's 45 and 3. Hope you guys also enjoyed. Please check out the description. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I will see you guys next time.